Pauline is joining us from United Kingdom. Pauline, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so honored to have you on this platform. Julie, thank you very much for having me. And I actually feel very honored and humbled that you've invited me. So thank you. Thank you so much, Pauline. So Pauline, let's talk about your work. What do you do? Right, okay, my background, I work in the criminal justice system and about four or five years ago, I wanted to do something to help very specific victims of crime, something that wasn't that, that wasn't available. I understand what these particular victims go through because I briefly went through it myself and I thought, you know, hang on, let's do a different approach here because it's something not available. So it's taken a while, but we are literally everything like a jigsaw puzzle, all the pieces are coming together. And what it is, it's not just violence against women that we're looking at, it's violence against men as well, and obviously young people. Yeah. Domestic abuse or domestic violence as it's known worldwide. Yeah. And what we are looking at to rehabilitate these victims is using, we're looking at a person's whole being, their health, yeah. their welfare, their lifestyle. So um, we're using a very much a different approach. To me, it's not just about signposting for safety. Yes, that's a very key factor. You've got to keep them. But also, we want to, we're putting together particular therapies, programs that are actually going to go to reach inside as well as the outside. Because you can't just heal a person that's been traumatized for many years. Just on the surface, you've got to go really inside um, and put them on a long-term support, which is what we are doing. So we're looking at what I would call complementary therapies, exercise, nutrition, counselling, and, you know, very therapeutic programmes to rehabilitate these people. And we know that for this specific area for victims of domestic abuse, there is nothing like it. And this is what makes it so unique because you're looking at a person's whole well-being. I, I for one, Julie, believe organisations use the word holistic too easily when in actual fact holistic means is healing the whole person with medicine and what we're doing is we're using nature and alternative mm -hmm. therapies to heal that person and heal them properly so not only are we looking at getting them out of safe if from one abusive relationship we're also looking at their mindset and trying to change that and working to change their mindset so that they don't attract the same kind of person Again. for their next relationship so it's really important you know we don't want them coming out of one frying pan and into another yeah true, very true. i think it is a fantastic work what you're doing so pauline do you want to tell us have you interacted with some you know very memorable people which stands out to you well well regarding this project yes right as of yet we i mean i've i, I have dealt with a couple of victims on this case but i think there's too many memories to, to pinpoint. I, th I think, I mean, at the moment, I, I'm lucky that we've, we, you know, the people that really stand out in my mind right now, until this takes off, are the kind of people that we're attracting and that actually support this project. There's some really, you know, with their background in policing, their background in alternative therapies, they're the kind of memorable people. But once this project really starts to take off, the real memorable people will be the people that will be helping the victims, whether it be female, whether it be male, whether it be children. They're the real ones that are going to stick in my mind. And, you know, it is every victim gets to my heart, but particularly the young person. Yeah. Because they're the future of the society sure. and because they're young and they're learning. It, 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 they're the ones that really get to me. So, Pauline, tell us about, you know, what is your most significant accomplishment? I know your work is unique and you're doing fantastic work, but... So, all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle slotted into place this year. And when I say this year, that, may, that means the right people started coming on board. That means the right patrons started coming on board. So we, we've got a former former world boxing champion on board as one of our patrons. We've got a political guru as, as one of our patrons. I'm looking for two females to come on board. I'm looking for a, a judge, a retired judge, because I think it's really important to have that kind of, these kinds of people in place that understand how the criminal justice system works. 
Yes. I think my complete accomplishment is actually getting it to where it is right now, getting it known mm -hmm. and actually getting one side of the business, because it is it has to be treated like yeah. the business as a limited company now. Yeah. So one side is going to be a limited company where we're going to provide education for the children yeah. and the other side is going to be well it is a charity but it will at some point become a registered charity where all the healing is going to take place and actually it is healing it would so whether it's the children's book or whether it's the actual therapeutic programs we are healing we are healing traumatized individuals from other people's bad behavior so i would say my accomplishment accomplishment is bringing the whole thing together that's my huge accomplishment fantastic so Pauline, let's talk about what makes your work unique at the same time, the strengths behind this work. I think what makes it unique is because this is a different approach that we're taking from everyone else. We're using nature, yeah. uh, we're using alternative ways that actually isn't being used in the way it should be. We're just looking at a whole person's whole being, well-being, their health and well-being and lifestyle. And I think, and also we're getting to the root cause of their difficulties as well. I just think the whole thing is very strong. I don't think that, I, I can't say one area is stronger than the other. I think the whole thing is very strong. It's very unique. And part of that, you know, if you see my logo, it's got a butterfly on it. Yeah. And, you know, in, in any religion and in Christianity, or just in nature, what is a butterfly known for? The butterfly stands for transformation. What are we doing here? We are transforming people's lives to become healthy, to become independent, and to be successful and to be able to achieve things in their own way without any sort of violence, without any fear of violence control or any other sort of behavior. I mean, it's, I find it astonishing that, you know, people in relationships can treat their loved ones in such a way. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. So I'm going to ask you a very important question. Yes. So where do you see yourself in another five years? In another five years? Yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Right. Up, running, very successful, helping a lot of people, helping communities. And one of the things I say is really important about this project is actually it's uniting different parts of the criminal justice system to talk to engage okay because when they're not engaging then information gets missed and it reduces so i am bringing everyone together so that's another unique thing but where do i see it in five years very successful in this country from the children's books from the training from the training from the education to the, re the victim rehabilitation to actually being successful here and taking it overseas. Oh, fantastic. And uh, good luck with that, Pauline. And uh, well, I'm really honored uh, that you took out time to give me this interview and it is great chatting with you on this platform. And thank you so much for being on this platform. Yeah, Julie, you know what? what an, can I just say something to you? What incredible work you are doing and actually engaging with women worldwide and empowering them in female-led initiatives. I think it's fantastic what you're doing. And thank you for spotting me and thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. Thank you so much, Pauline. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, do subscribe to my channel. We have amazing women like Pauline on this platform on a regular basis. So do subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you.